Right, next, listen up. This video is gonna need me to turn the fan on, right? Because it's gonna get fucking, it's gonna get a bit sticky, mate, in here, going through this. Now, what's going on next? By the way, how are we all? Um, <laughs> this video is gonna be about Shaco build. All right. I've had so many people recently come into the Twitch chat. All right, and ask me about bloody, how would you build on Shaco? What's the best build for him? Do you go Dustway? Do you go why are you going Red Smite and all this stuff? Now, I'm just gonna walk you guys through it step by step. Okay. So you guys don't get too confused because it isn't confusing. It's a very, very simple build and it remains the same pretty much every single game with a few intricacies that we need to be aware of. First of all, I'm going to fucking flog the Mobify Guide. So if you guys haven't already checked out my Mobify Guide, I'd highly recommend doing so. It is the easily, all right, and I'm not just saying this, all right, because it's mine. If I read that guide... Because most Shaco guys on are guides on Mobify just talk about what Shaco's abilities do. Um, you know, his fucking it's like a law. You know, the law for the champion on here. It's like that. It's just descriptive stuff. I don't really care about that. I want to know how to get fed on Shaco, how to hard carry, how to put myself in a position to to win pretty much every game or most games we play in. Right? It's the most comprehensive guide on how to play Shaco, not what Shaco does, but how to play him in the right way, in my opinion, anyway, and that how we got to challenger and shit. And this build is one of the reasons why and this is just simple stuff boys that we don't and girls that we don't need to that we shouldn't be worrying about it should just come like that to us we don't we shouldn't be worrying about builds after like you know months and weeks months even years of playing shaco we shouldn't be worrying about what to build in and we should already know that stuff so this is here just to say look mate this is it this is the build all right this is what you're gonna go you don't need to ask me about it anymore here it is use it and off you go and you guys should be good all right so let's get into the cancer by the way, next, I just want to touch on the uh, on the runes quickly. So this is uh, the uh, I'll Take the Money page inspired by Drew Timms, the Team Liquid Academy coach. And we've gone with the Electrocute. Now, I've been asked as well recently in chat, do we go, should I go Dark Harvest? Why don't you go Dark Harvest? Why are you running Electrocute? If you guys read the Mobify guide, that will explain it, but I'll just explain it here briefly. My Shaco, how I play on Shaco, it's all about the early game. So it's all about getting kills, getting assists, getting a lane going in the early game. And how do we do that? We need Electrocute. So we have Ignite. Okay. Powerful AF. Early game. Yeah, when you hit like level 3. Whether you go for a gank, whether you invade. Coupled with Electrocute, mate. You will win every 1v1. And it just gives you massive kill pressure. Whether you're invading, as I said, or ganking a lane. It just, just gives us... It just enhances our early game damage. And it means we just cannot be 1v1. And more likely than not, yeah, we're going to get fed out of the early game because Dark Harvest is a bit like unreliable. If you don't get fed early or if you don't pick up free kills and stuff, and it, even if your team like falls behind, if you just hard farm a Shaco with Dark Harvest, mo more often than not, especially because I think in this meta, like the early game ganking junglers like Rek'Sai, Sejuani, Ramus, all of them are really, really strong. If you don't gank, if you're just gonna hard farm for Tiamat and shit like that with Dark Harvest, more often than not, one of your lanes is going to fall behind, the enemy jungler gets fed off that, and you will be the one getting invaded. You won't be the one putting pressure on the map, which is what we want with Electrocute. So that's why I go that. The Mobify guide probably explains it even better. So go and check that out, but yeah, hopefully that clears it up. Um, now, I like to go Mobies as the build, as we'll soon find out. So the reason uh, I take Alacrity is to compensate for the uh, lack of attack speed, because normally I'd go Berserker Grease, which gives us 30... I think it's 35% attack speed um so without them because we go mobies and we don't have shiv we don't have any attack speed items in our build which I'll show you we're gonna have to go alacrity which gives us attack speed based on takedowns on what does it say here champions epic monsters stuff like that i've already been through the runes but i just want to do a final video for season eight just so you guys are set mate so in five days time in oce don't know if the ranks out elsewhere but in oce rank comes out in five days time i want you guys to be fucking ready Ready to, ready to, ready to, you know, get the notepad out, mate, and just, just go ham. But yeah, that's why we uh, take alacrity and coup de grace is obviously obvious, obviously obvious. Well done, me. Um, but yeah, all right. So let's get into the build. What's going on, next? Right, welcome to the uh, to the build. Let's get it. And when I say it, I mean aids. Right, refillable potion. I'm just gonna bring the mic down a bit. Hopefully that doesn't make any noise. Okay. Right there we go. So refillable potion, we don't go rejuvenation bead. Do not go fucking rejuvenation bead. If you do, you're gonna cop it. 
Do, the reason we go refill is because if we 1v1 the other jungle, we need some sufficient form of health regeneration. This is all explained in the Mobify guide, probably better here. So go check that out in the description. And it was linked earlier in the video. Anyway, yeah, so we don't go rejuvenation bead because we need some sufficient health regen if we get into 1v1 or if we gank a lane and we get in trouble. Anything like that, mate. Like any early game skirmish, whether it be in the jungle or in a lane when you gank, you need sufficient health regen. The refill gives us it. And the reason we don't go health potions, so three health pots, is because this is more efficient over time in terms of gold. It costs 150 at the start, and we don't need to spend any more. We don't need to worry any more about our health potions or health pots or whatever. So that's why we go that. Also, I've heard of some Korean Shaco guy go rejuvenation beat at the start of games and he farms to golems or something and gets TM out of like four minutes or whatever the strat is. I just, I just think it's useless. I think it's useless because my early game, that's it, mate. All I care about is the early game, strategizing for it. I'm not about sitting back and being a passive farming Shaco. I don't think that's how you should play him, especially now because he's a lot more viable. I think you should be putting pressure on the map and looking to get advantages at, at, at any time you can. And you're not going to do that by sitting in your fucking jungle, farming your camps. It doesn't do anything for you. It doesn't do anything for the team either. And it lets their jungler get away with a, with a free early game. Yeah, when we could be applying some pressure. Obviously, we get the yellow trinket early. Um, so the first back we want team at every single time. I don't really need to go into depth there. Every single, every first back we want to try and buy team at. Sometimes we're going to have to back and we have 900, 1,000 gold and we can't quite get it. That's fine, but we want to be working towards team at, guys. That's our first major item. After that, we want to get boots. Now, you want to get boots after team at. You never really want to get boots before team at. Unless, you, uh, unless you've got some weird gold value. But yes, we want boots second. And we're going to evolve them into the Mobis. So that's why we go Alacri Alacrity. Normally I'd go Berserk Grease on like uh, in Season 7. Like early Season 7 patches. But now we go Mobis. The Alacrity rune. Now after this, it's really debatable. It's honestly up to you guys what you prefer. You can go Dustblade. Or you can go the Warrior Enchantment. So where is the big fella? Here it is. Red Smite. Now I go Red Smite every game now. And there's a few reasons. First of all, because I don't think Dustblade gives us heaps more damage than this one. I, I still think that we power spike when we get this item. So we don't really lack any damage when comparing this to Dustblade. Um, and it also acts as like a free exhaust and a free ignite when, we 1v, when we're 1v1-ing a, a jungler or anyone on the other team, ADC, mid laners, etc. It acts as like a free exhaust and a free ignite. Okay, and those of you who have played Shaco and versus the Red Smite junglers like Rek'Sai, even Ramesses, um, Udis, Shivanas, all of those champions are really aids for Shaco when they have Red Smite and they've got Tarbies or something like that. So using this, um, I, I kind of I've started to see why it's used on junglers. And going Dustblade first, I think only I think Dustblade is only good first item, like after you have Tiamat and your Mobis, only when you're heaps fed and if you're versing a squishy jungler. If you're versing like a Ramus, Sejuani, I think Dustblade is useless. If you're versing maybe a Lee Sin and you're four and over at ten minutes, then looking to build Dustblade first is is very viable. But for me, boys and, and girls, I just prefer going Warrior at the moment. Just a personal preference thing. You guys can go Dustblade, but it's got to be I think Dustblade or Warrior. So we get this. As our third item, and then after this we go Dustblade every single time. So these are the, these first four items that you see here. This is my build. That's pretty much it. That's my core right here. Every single game we will get that exactly the same, no difference. All right? Dustblade's obvious because well, Dustblade's just brilliant for Shaq. I don't really need to go into depth in that one. I think everyone knows that. Now this is where it kind of gets interesting, and there's a few intricacies. I'm going to go through my recent games on this account. This is actually a Smurf account. We've won 24 in a row on Shaco, and it's in silver. We've played like every single game in silver. But anyway, we're going to go through the builds that I've used, and we're going to go through a few different ones and why I've used, why I may may have gone those boots over them, and certain items over other items and shit like that. It will it will all become clear very very soon. Now there are a few items you can buy here. And I'm going to show you what they are. Um, I saw one guy actually, one guy sent me in a OP.GG review. He had a Maw in his build. Get, get fucking rid of it. <laughs> get fucking rid of your Maw, mate. You do not need a Maw in Shaco. Uh, people always, always also ask me for Bork and stuff. You don't need that stuff. Do not buy a fucking Bork on Shaco. Our goal, boys and girls, fuck's sake, is to, um, is to blow up their carries. That's our goal. 
But how do we blow up their carries? First of all, it's by being smart and playing playing him the right way, which is what the Mobify guide talks about. But it's also about building right and building for an assassin. Bork doesn't really do anything for an assassin. Yeah. Moore doesn't do anything for an assassin. And the only item that I think we need that gives us a bit of defense or defense is GA. Just gives us armor and the passive, obviously, the most useful thing in the world. This is an, a, a must as well, by the way. So I think it really depends, but your build should look something like that. What I've just done there. And obviously you can build that into Ravenous or Titanic. But this build right here, guys, is what you want to be looking at. If you have a build like that in your last 10 games, you're doing well. That's perfect. Don't worry about anything else. Okay, because you will climb just using this build. And once you start using the build more and more and more and, and you, you know... You get used to situations and all that stuff and you have experience with it you'll notice that sometimes you could do oh maybe you know ghost play would have been good there maybe i need to sell the warrior for a ghost play and stuff like that but once you have enough gold for six items this is what you should have at that stage in the game yeah now after that it gets interesting all right i don't uh, i don't think i need to go into detail on why ie is good why ga is good you guys know what the items do as i said the mobify guy talks about them in detail so go check it out now, what happens now, it really depends on how much gold we have. It's all situational, as I said. But, if I were you and this was late, late game, so it's 50 minutes, we've got all the gold in the world, this would probably be my perfect build. Uh, something, if I can do this right without getting AIDS. Something like this. Where are Tarbies at? Here we go. Sorry, boys, just taking you a bit longer than usual here, because I'm a spastic. Something like that would be our full build. All right. The reason I like going Ravenous is because it gives us 80 AD. Titanic gives us like 35 or something. What does it actually give us? Let me just check. It gives us 40 AD. Yeah, okay. So it's not that good. Ravenous gives us 80. Yeah. So it just enhances our damage, our one-shot potential on their carries, which is what we play, what we play Shaco for. That's the most fun, right? Uh, we go Tarbies because we don't need Mobiles. Late-game Mobiles are, are just useless. Like, you can easily get to carries, especially with Ghost Play, the, the passive and the active. So the passive gives us 40 movement speed out of combat, and the active will get a nice speed boost, kind of like Predator. Um, so yeah, we don't need Mobiles late-game, boys. So don't, don't ever have, when it reaches like 45, 50 minutes, don't ever have Mobiles in your, in your build. Always sell them, get either Merc Treads or Ninja Tarbies. So those are the two boots I want you guys think about these two right here most of the time you do want to go tarbies but sometimes they might have some really aid cc like i don't know they might have um Zeraf and nivia's victors stuff like that and you just need mercredes just to get through it all or the uh, A aoe but i think ninja tarbies generally like 75 percent of the time you want to go them and everything else is just simple we sell warrior because we don't need any of the experience that it gives us we don't need it because well, first of all, Ghost Blade just gives us a bit more damage by the uh, lethality, and the passive and active is a lot more useful. I don't really think there's another item we should we should buy when we sell the Warrior. So say we didn't have Ghost Blade here, I don't think there's another item that I'd prefer than Ghost Blade. Edge of Night is interesting, but I just there's no point. We don't need that health. We don't need that AD. We get the AD from Ghost Blade, and we get an awesome passive from. I don't think any item is better than this when we sell the Warrior. But that should look like our full build, a full build, something like that. I think GA is a must. On Shaco. Um, and you you guys who go Bruiser Shaco, like Shacklone, I, I don't know what his build is. It's fucking weird though, and I cannot stand it. Yeah? When I play Shaco, all I care about is just blowing up carries. And the GA, as explained in the Mobify guide, all of this stuff is in a bit more detail and probably better articulated as well. The GA gives us a second chance and gives us a bit of compensation if we fuck up. It also makes us a bit tanky, giving us that the 30 armor. Um, and the passive, as I said, is just useful as. Okay? So when we have that, we can be ballsy, we can make plays, um, we can go a little bit deeper than we normally would. I said that before. Jesus Christ, this commentary. But yeah, I think GA is a must. So fifth item or sixth item has to be GA. Okay? And after that, it's either IE or LDR. I forgot about LDR, actually. So, LGR or Mortal Reminder. Depends on what they have. If they have a Swain, maybe Mortal Reminder. If they have a, um, what is it, a life-stealing ADC, then, then Mortal Reminder as well. But one of these two bad boys. Now, the reason I go, I would go LDR or Mortal Reminder is if they have heaps of Ninja Tarbies. That's the only reason why. Only reason why. 
So if you see two ninja tabis on the other team, say their midliner has them, which is kind of rare, but their ADC will have them, and say their midliner has like a Zonyas as well, which is kind of annoying to deal with, then definitely going LDR is a possibility, especially if their ADC, if their ADC has a, um, ninja tabis, you have to go LDR. So if that is the case, stay with me here. Hopefully you guys are remembering all this shit. Um, this is our build. We don't have an IE. IE goes, and we keep everything else. Alright? So we only go IE if they don't have any ninja tabbies. We don't need to get through any armor. They're just squishy as fuck. It's just their base armor that we need to get through. We go IE, we'll blow anyone up. But if they have tabbies, if they build kind of smart, maybe their ADC has like a, a bloody random ones as well. I've seen that before. You will need LDR. It is an absolute must. And here you easily have enough damage to blow up people. Especially with Ignite guys and Electrocute. That's why Electrocute is so good late game as well. People think the Dark Harvest, oh, you know, you're just going to go in and one-shot people. You don't. You don't. Trust me. The Shaco's Q damage is so shit anyway. Like, you don't need it. And Dustblade gives us heaps anyway. That's most of our damage when we come out of Q. Dark Harvest gives us some, yes. But Electrocute is still just as good in my opinion. The amount of times we've played Shaco. So that is the full build, guys. Hopefully you've... Or, you know, you can remember it. If I were you guys, I would write down, write this down somewhere, maybe in a notepad, make a notepad, or take a picture or a screenshot and save it somewhere, put it on your other monitor so when you play Shaka, you know what you're doing. But that is it. That should be the full build. All of these all of these things are discussed in the Mobify Guide, but I just wanted to make a video so you guys don't have to fucking come into my Twitch chat and ask me. I can just send you the video or one of the moderators can. The GOAT mods can send you the link. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, oh yeah, some people also ask about Shiv. Never go Shiv. Never go Shiv. Triforce as well. Like, Triforce is decent on Shaco, but this is the build, guys, that got me to challenge it. This is why we dominate in pretty much every single game. That's not me being arrogant either. You can look at the recents. Well, I'll look at the recents here, actually, as well, to go through this. But yeah, so that is, that is the build. All right, that is the build I want to go, pretty much every game. So hopefully you've got a mental memory of that, mental note, made a mental note of that, or saved it somewhere. But you see here, these are pretty much the same. So we've got Ghostblade instead of IE. It depends as well what gold you have. Like if you back and you have like 1200 gold, yeah, and you've got your first four items and you want to get a BF sword or, you know, for a GA or an IE, but you have 1200, just get a Dirk and build a Ghostblade. That's fine as well. But as you can see in most of these things, we go team at mobiles, we've got the skirmisher, uh, skirmisher saber, we've got dust blade and we go IE or here. We, it, here's an interesting one as well, 35 minutes, we have Merc Treads, who are we against, let's have a look. We were against, yeah, okay, so Zillion, Teemo is here, Merc Treads is definitely the best buy there. But yeah, hopefully this made everything clear, it probably didn't. You're probably, it, it was probably convoluted AF, but as I said, the Mobify guide is the most ideal thing that you guys need for anything related to Shaco and all of your questions will be answered in that video and hopefully I answered some in this video in the video in the guide in this video as well all right all right guys hopefully that was good please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy come check out our twitch channel we're on a 24 win streak on this account and uh yeah we're not gonna stop all right guys thanks for watching and uh we see you in the next one peace